three. Vasquez from Mexico does bring the first half to a close. A satisfactory first half, certainly from Brazil's point of view. But Argentina looking a little dejected as they troop from the pitch for their half-time orange juice. So here, that goal from Zico after 12 minutes has given Brazil the advantage at half-time. We're going to take a break now for the half-time score here in Barcelona. Is Brazil 1, Argentina 0. Wherever you break down, the RAC are geared to get you out fast. Direct radio contact, the latest equipment, a wide range of vehicles, countrywide, and patrolmen with the know-how to rescue you in next to no time. For more information about the RAC, phone 01 200 0200. Will it be chips or jacket spuds? Will it be salad or frozen peas? Will it be mushrooms, fried onion ring? You'll have to wait and see. Bird's Eye introduced Steakhouse Grills. Pure ground beef you cook like a steak and serve like a steak. What will you give your old man with his Steakhouse Grill? Oh, it's chips, it's chips. We hope it's chips, it's chips. New Bird's Eye Steakhouse Grills. A supper worth singing for. Overload with Blondie, PhD, Tight Fit, and many more. Overload from Bronco. 22 electrifying hits. Inside every Debenhams, there's a green shop that's worth looking into. You'll find helpful advice and knowledge on hi-fi, TV, photographic and household appliances, and greens roof raisers like these. In our hot point center, save 25 pounds on the deluxe twin tub, 40 pounds on this top-loading automatic, 40 pounds on this 1,000 variable spin automatic, and 50 pounds on the microtronic automatic, plus hot point's five-year parts guarantee. At every greens and every Debenhams, you'll find wonderful offers now. So don't miss it. At greens, at Debenhams. People say things have changed, but there's a lot that hasn't. Ben Truman is still brewed with the same traditional skill and care. That's why it's as true today as it's always been. You can taste the hops in Ben Truman. Whipping is always having the civilized world's favorite tonic handy, just in case anyone drops in. Schwepping, as seen on TV. If you're looking for something that's got a real flavor to it, this is the one to get your teeth into. No, it's not. You see, the trouble is, not everything that looks like cracker bread tastes like cracker bread. So don't get confused, don't be misled. There's only one cracker bread. In fact, it's so good, you can simply eat it neat. Or on the rocks. <laughs> Announcing the new Dunlop Elite, the tire that saves petrol. The oil business ain't going like this. Brazil leading Argentina by a goal to nil. John Bond, Jimmy Greaves, Ian St. John. Uh, what's your feeling, John, about that first half? Well, what can you say about it? They're, they're sort of just playing it about and feeling each other out, but as soon as they start going forward, something happens all the time. As long as Argentina are only one goal behind, they've got a chance, because you've seen just before half-time there where they had one or two little chances with Maradona, Kempis, and people like that going forward. They've always got a chance. But the Brazilians... I keep on and on and on about them, but they're different class. They play so many balls between two people and play two or three people out of the game, it's not true. The running that they're prepared to do going forward 
is unbelievable, both from the front men and from the midfield people. Yes. It's a different ball game. Yes. Against that, Argentina had a good start, Jimmy, didn't they? And Barbas got that header in that uh, the keeper saved well. And in fact, the Brazilian keeper, who a lot of people have been critical of, has done fairly well. It relieved to see it, actually. I mean, for once we saw Kempes as the Kempes of old that, that we knew him to be in the last World Cup take on the players. A beautiful run. And he comes in, he gets a great header, and it was good to see the keeper do that because we've never actually had to see him make a real save in this World Cup so far. Uh, the only time was against Baal, and, and, and he let that in, yes. uh, the Russian. And uh, he looks now to be a better keeper than we all feared. He made a good, uh, good save from he Passarella's header just before half time as well. Yes. But the goal was a beauty, uh, Ian. I think you enjoyed that, didn't you? Oh, a super goal. But, uh, I mean, the free kicks are a speciality, aren't they, of... Uh, the, the Brazilians. I mean, that is a good 35 yards out. And the great thing is, of course, was a following up of the two Brazilian players there. Uh, you've got to look, at, when you look at it again, you know, I think they just moved before the kick was taken. And uh, you may well see that from behind the goal here. But I thought, pause, watch them there. Now, I think they moved before the ball was hit, which means they were offside when it comes off. The, the crossbar bounces down. Two of them chasing and then it was Edda. But so no, nobody in the Argentine side has reacted at all. Look well, at that. No, they're having a look over their shoulder. Now, because I think the Brazilians went too quick, I think they were in an offside position. Yes. I think that proved right it. Here. John, would you say that? Well, it may be, but I mean, you've still got to blame the Argentinians for not doing their work properly. I mean, if the if the Brazilians are prepared to break forward and get on the end of a rebound, they're prepared to get, got to be prepared to get back there and knock it out. The other good thing about that was the goalkeeper made a great save, you know. Yes. And he was down on the ground and he was up and as near as damn it got the ball again. Yes. Well, I mean, it was a case of nearly the, the Zico and Sergino tackling each other to get the ball in the back of the net. That's how sharp they are. I mean, it's great. The three of us have been sitting here, and every time a Brazilian has got the ball, we're saying, well, he's a great player, and he's a great player, yes. and he's a great player, yes. and he gets boring saying. I Is Maradona a great player on what you've seen in that first half? I was just going to say, just before you ask that question, with, with, with Jimmy, you see, I think the big thing and the big difference between the two sides is that Brazil have got... 11 players who prepared to work and graft and run for each other the whole time. I believe that the likes of Kempers and people like that will only run occasionally, and, and, and I think they've got too many kidders in the side, yeah. the Argentinians, and I believe that likes of our dealers and people like that will always work and try to make things happen for themselves, but I don't think generally they've got enough people to do it. Well, it but do you think for all that they should have had a penalty? In just well, it before. seems amazing that the best player, most dangerous player most of the time is Passarella, who is terrific... Uh, uh, set pieces and he's a good defensive header as well. Now this one here, he comes in at the back there and got pushed there, I thought, by Socrates, and I thought that was a penalty kick. And in fact, he appealed to the referee so much so that he got booked. And I, and I feel he was justified in, in complaining there. I thought he did get pushed, but he's a terrific header. But Brazil then leading by a goal to nil. We'll take another break, see how the second half develops. <laughs> Sudden strong household smells can materialize at any time. On the left, a conventional spray air freshener. Whilst on the right, twice as fresh, a special kind of air freshener. Just wave it through the air and it kills off strong smells just like any spray. But it doesn't stop there. Because left open, twice as fresh will keep on working for eight weeks to freshen the air and deal with lingering smells. Twice as fresh, the solid air freshener that works like a spray. Now's the time to move over to the totally equipped Triumph Acclaim. For performance, handling, refinement, and total driving pleasure, go to your Austin Rover showroom now for a test drive and an amazing trade-in deal. Now's the time to move over to the totally equipped Triumph Acclaim. In the early morning when you're half asleep, Turn on, step in, and shower electric. It's lots of fun for the kiddies, too. An electric shower is easy to install, and remember, a quick shower is very much cheaper than a bath. Turn on, step in, and shower electric. Seven across, a breakfast toast, four words. A cup of coffee. Blank, double, blank, P, blank, blank, C, blank, blank, F, blank, E. A cup of coffee? Oh, well, as long as it's Maxwell has. What? 
Mm. Oh, that tastes good. All that fresh, natural coffee flavour locked in. John. No, 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 no. I was only going to say, are you enjoying your cup of tea, blank, blank, F, blanky? New Maxwell House. Flavour locked. Naturally. At one time, the people of my village were contented with the finest beer in the world. Sieglager. A beer of purity and character. But then from Britain comes Kestrel Pilsner Lager. Dry, strong taste, they say. Make mine taste like old boots, they say. So I take all the strings out of their piano. Kestrel makes Sieglager taste like old boots. I'm at Harbour. If your life is ruled by the sea, you can rule out a regular fueling schedule. That's why Texaco distributors stay flexible enough to deliver marine fuel any day of the week at any time. When it comes to helping fishermen keep up with the catch, Texaco, the driving force. Holidays abroad, never again. Third time we've been, third time we've had tummy trouble. Diacalm for you. Diacalm beats holiday tummy troubles fast. Welcome back. Brazil go on. Few problems for them this afternoon, but for Argentina. They've been dethroned. The crown is no longer theirs. No wonder the Brazilian flags are waving here in Barcelona. So fine goals by Zico after 12 minutes, by Serginho after 67 minutes. And then that marvellous third goal from Junior have given the Brazilians a 3-1 victory. Diaz's goal coming too late. And the memories here really, not only of the goals, but sadly of Diego Maradona getting his marching orders and being sent off five minutes from time. So there it is, Brazil 3, Argentina 1, and as we've said all along, one can't imagine anyone stopping Brazil taking over as world champions from Argentina. The final scoreline then, as these supporters celebrate a marvellous afternoon it's been for them, and as the Brazilian team leave the pitch to rapturous applause, we can tell you here that it's Brazil 3, Argentina 1. What a wonderful game, full of skill and incident. That's how the group table stands now. The one remaining game, Brazil against Italy, for a place in the semi-finals, where Brazil now need a... These days, you rarely see a Zulu in our pubs and clubs. The church warden's been excommunicated. The Dublin sent to Coventry. However, perhaps we can help to reinstate these homely briars by recommending a tobacco which brings out the best in any pipe. Mellow Virginia is neither harsh nor mild, but cool and satisfying. Who knows? With our tobacco and your spirit of adventure, even the Meerschaum could make a comeback. TVS cameras are out and about bringing you the best view of major events in the region this summer. Join us for the international flying display and other great attractions of the Army Air Show from Middle Wallop. Later in August, our cameras will be covering the magnificent Parade of Sail down the Southampton waters. Two forthcoming attractions here on TVS. And now we go over to ITN for a roundup of the latest national and international news. The Times 6.15. The early evening news with Michael Brunson. Roy Jenkins to lead the Social Democrats. The rail strike is still on. 
Wolves have gone bust, but they hope to keep on playing. And Billie Jean King goes out at Wimbledon.